Welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for insightful commentary on news and events in the Asian region. Today, we have an important topic to discuss that directly affects the food scene in Singapore. But before we dive into it, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content like this. So, what's the buzz all about? Well, it's regarding Chumpo 2, a food shop located at Rivervale Plaza in Seng Kong. The Singapore Food Agency, SFA, recently made a crucial announcement that Chumpo 2 has been slapped with a two-week suspension, lasting from September 26 to October 9. This suspension is a result of the eatery's accumulation of 12 demerit points over a 12-month period, thanks to some food safety violations. Now, let's break down the facts here. Chumpo 2 was fined a total of 800 Singapore dollars for two offenses, which together incurred the 12 demerit points leading to their suspension. These offenses specifically pertain to the failure to keep the licensed premises free of infestation. Each of these offenses resulted in six demerit points. Here's the kicker. According to SFA, if a licensee amasses 12 or more demerit points within a year, they could face a suspension for either two or four weeks, or even have their license completely cancelled. It's clear that Singapore takes food safety seriously and is committed to ensuring that food establishments adhere to strict hygiene standards. Now, you might be wondering about the people affected by this suspension. All food handlers working in the suspended premises will need to re-attend and pass the food safety course level 1 before they can resume their duties. Additionally, food hygiene officers, if any, working in the premises must also re-attend and pass the food safety course level 3. These measures are in place to safeguard public health and maintain high standards of food hygiene. As viewers, what are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe that such strict actions are necessary to maintain food safety standards? Have you ever encountered poor hygiene practices in food establishments, and if so, what did you do about it? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's start a discussion. Remember, your feedback is essential in shaping our future content, so don't hesitate to share your opinions. If you found this video informative and engaging, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning in to 2230, where we keep you informed and engaged with the latest news and events from around the Asian region. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.